Hey, all you world shakers. This is Uncle Dean coming at you from the Bitterroot. Um, just a little something I'm playing with here. I'm boosting my uh, charging system, my solar, on a cloudy day. And you can see it's kind of a rainy, or, yeah, it's kind of hard to see through the window there, anyway. I thought it was right. Uh, anyway, it's kind of a rainy, cloudy day. And, uh, all my panels weren't getting up over 23. So, what I did was I rigged up a, uh, one of my little alternator BLDC uh, motor alternator combination and I've got it piped through a little transformer right there just two legs of it mind you it's a three phase going into that little rectifier it comes out of there and it goes right into my battery bank and as you can see the numbers have been, are coming up steady it's just sitting there running at about quarter speed with that transformer on there to put out 90 volts DC to the rectifier but it, you know I'm only running at about 30 volts right now and it's as far as the amps oh what is it I'm running at about 0 0.051 amp As you can see, it don't take a lot. <clears throat> but, uh, well, I have, it, I have it run for power. What it is, it's running off my 24-volt, or charging the 24-volt battery system. And uh, down here next to it, I've got a couple of step-down step converters that's... Uh, dropping my voltage down to right at 12 volts so that little motor is only running on 12 volts but it's putting out 30 30 volts I choked my voltage down in my batteries and bring it back up through that converter into that motor and like I say it's pumping out voltage and assisting my solar panels on a cloudy day and it ain't getting warm, it ain't having a problem at all. It's been running for about 20 minutes. Now it's a little bit, little idea I've been playing with in my head. And I've been work, I'm modifying one of my bigger smart drive washing machine motors, the big magnetic three phase motors. I'm uh, modifying one of them right now. To, uh, do the same thing but in spades and I come up with a way to uh, rewire them smart drive motors and you can run them off of one of these little BLDC hoverboard controls yeah it's really easy all you do is go in and, and cut the connector between the first pickup on all three phases where the wire your your output wire comes out yeah you, you just run that follow that right to the first pickups on each phase and clip the wire going to the next pickup and then you take those three separate pickups that you have and tie them together tie the leads together that you just cut now those three pickups will run that smart drive motor just off of three pickups and the rest of those pickups you take and tie solder on wires onto those three leads now that hook to the rest of that of those pickups you know it might be 36 or what have you in that motor now well, you've got 33 of them now for your alternator charging system sorry I kind of got the jabber in there and Took the eyes off the focus here, but but anyway, you uh, create uh, two separate 
a motor and an alternator, two separate units out of the same motor. Well, they will run off of just three pickups. As long as you have one in each phase, it'll run that motor, and it'll turn it at a good lick. And the rest of that is one giant alternator. So you hook that up. Right now, see, this thing fluctuates because I've got it tied to the voltage coming in on the panel before it gets to my buck converter. See, it's it's running off of the flow from my solar system so before it even gets to my battery powers or my battery system through that MPPT and uh, so it doesn't really affect the batteries other than what extra it gets it throws into them and they fluctuate up and down but it's been hanging above 24 volts and I can speed it up Speed it up through it with a little motor control here, as you can see. Because it seems like it don't really affect it so much on higher voltages, on higher speeds, excuse me. But when I bring her down to a lower speed, then it starts charging back up, charging up again. And it's not running off the batteries at all. It's just pumping its juice into them batteries, but it's all according, and the speed of the motor is, is maintained by the voltage or the amps coming in out of the panels. Not necessarily voltage, but the amperage coming in. As you can see, I've got, what? oh, let's see. 23 in panel. It's at 3.3 continuity amps. 24 sick or in the batteries. So according to that, they don't never read the same, but you can see. Anyway, it helps. Getting just the opposite effect sometimes. Anyways, I think my big unit will do better because these little hoverboard motors, you know, they on their best day they only put out like 350 watts. So anyway, I'll let you guys know what happens on the next go around though. See if I can show you how I modify this motor. Hopefully, you people that are on the ball will understand what I just told you about rewiring them smart drives and hoverboard motors either way you can make a heck of a little power station out of these and if you juggle your power around from one battery to another you can leapfrog and, and charge them batteries vice versa and keep your power system up at a, at a high level anyway is Uncle Dean coming at you from the Bitterroot Wilderness of Idaho I just kinda like wanted to show you guys what I've been a monkey in with. I hadn't done a video for a day or two. and Anyway, keep digging for the truth. Show the world you care. Give the knowledge away. Conquer the world, people. It's yours. Have a good one. Take care, Dale.